heading to the same pickup, to the same delivery at the same time. Think in joining Prime, go to priming.com, press the driver application, and then when you go down and scroll down, after you read everything, press next, and scroll down again, press next again. You'll be prompted to the first page. You wanna to go to the second page where it would ask you where you refer to Prime by an active Prime driver. Make sure you select yes and type in my driver code, S-V-E-N-A-E. -E. And now let's get into the video. Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. So yesterday my wife cooked as you guys saw and right now we are out here at the Loves in White House, Tennessee. Well you fuck like that. And I got um, Sean, the driver right here from Prime as well. Good friend of mine. I met him and I actually followed him before I went to Prime. And I met him at the yard last time when I was doing my training and he was like real cool. So we're friends. So the funny part is he got the same load as I got. We're both heading to the same pickup to the same delivery at the same time. So we're gonna be riding together, that's the plan. His load is ready, mine is ready. We're gonna get some fuel now, and we're gonna get going. Got my lovely wife right here. We took a shower, she got some hot dogs. She cooked breakfast, she made some uh, bacon, some eggs, and some pancakes. And but, egg rolls. And egg rolls, but she still got hot dogs for the snack. So yeah, we only eat the hot dog what, yeah, once a year. Yeah, <laughs> barely. And I, I went there and I'm like, I yeah. miss eating hot dogs. Let exactly. Me, so, so I'm just waiting for Sean. Um, I'm about to knock on his truck and see what's up, and we're gonna Maybe get going. Satisfied. Yep. We actually, my wife um, actually cooked a lot of food, so we gave some to Sean. We gave him like I think four pancakes, a lot of bacon, and a lot of scrambled eggs. So he's happy. And yesterday, uh, we dinner. yeah, we, we had dinner, and my wife gave we're him some food too. We had um, a bunch of we had soup, we had spaghetti, and we had uh, beef steak, and with the onions on top with rice. So Sean also got that. And well, he got the beef steak in yeah, it. and my wife is gonna cook barbecue chicken today. We got about a five and a half hour drive. The, sorry to cut you off. Already marinated the chicken. It's all since good. This morning. Yeah, so we got about a five and a half hour drive, give or take. If there's traffic, maybe a little bit longer, but we're gonna get there. There's a loves. Sean said he has to uh, take a shower and do his laundry. So we're gonna go park over there, and we're gonna go leave around 3:50, 4 in the morning. We gotta be there because the delivery is at five. We're gonna show up an hour early and see if we can get unloaded. It's an OTIF load, meaning you can only show up an hour before. So if it wasn't for that, I'll try to go there right now and see if we can get unloaded. But yes. that's not the case. We're going to head and I'm going to be their videographer. <laughs> yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right, we'll catch you guys here shortly when we get rolling. I'm going to go knock on Sean's door and let's see what's up. There he is. Oh, there he is. Doing, we're doing a video, so we got Sean right here. Yeah, we're about to get rolling right now. We're gonna go pick up the load, so about to get some uh, chicken tonight. Barbecue chicken, my wife is gonna make, right? How was the food? Oh, it was good, it was real good. Yeah, it was I need to stop eating so much, but it was good. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, so anyways, we're gonna get rolling now. We're gonna go get some fuel. You gotta get reefer fuel, I gotta get diesel for the truck, and yeah, we'll take you guys along with us. So let's go. There we go, guys. So Sean's going.
guys, we just got here. We're Sean at the Tyson right now. We're gonna have to check in. He has to drop his trailer already. Drop my trailer. I'm still bobtail from yesterday. And the loader is gonna be right here against this fence line because I picked up here before and I remember. So we're gonna go ahead and wait for him to check in and then we'll be next. That trailer I brought yesterday uh, and I dropped off. Sean grabbed that, is getting that trailer with, he got loaded, his load got loaded in the trailer I dropped off last night over here, it's pretty funny. So, and then I got a 16 a old trailer, so it's probably gonna be a bunch of damage on it like always, and uh, yeah, gonna have to do a trailer inspection when we get it. So he's gonna go ahead right now and check in, and yeah, I gotta remember to put my vest on because Tyson is very strict with vest. So, I'm gonna grab my vest right now. Sean's gonna slide the tandems now, before they let you in, so he just pulled the pin. And then we'll be next. We'll just pull up to the stop sign and go ahead and check in with them. And we should get our bills and then go ahead and there's going to be like a bunch of information you got to answer the seal number, the temperature and all that. Hello. I'm, I'm, I'm picking up. It's going to be zero five. Yes, Correct. Do I need to sign this in? Got it. Appreciate it. Thank you. So right now I'm searching for the trailer and I don't see it yet. It's hidden. 17. It's not much load. It's coming out. Uh, it's over here. Yeah, it might be over there. There's another lane right here on the back side. Is it? I don't know, that's weird. I'm gonna find it though. All right, here it is, 160198 is our trailer. It's gonna be fun getting out of here. Oh uh, no. Yeah, I don't think I can get out of here now because this, this trailer's in the way. Again. Might have to ask the yard guy to move it for us though. And they put it like so crooked, like geez, Louise. <laughs> it's not even straight. You gotta go with it within an angle. There we go. Going straight with it. Feels light. anything here if I can't get out this way which is impossible I'm gonna have to go this way and then back up which will be a little bit inconvenient but it is what it is it's gonna be a little noisy so I apologize the nail I had a nail in the tire right here this morning when I did my pre-trip I found it it was right here they marked it they fixed it it was deep I would try to pull it and it was air leaking out so I had to go inside and patch it you can see the tires all dirty now so yeah but yeah we did a pickup now we're gonna go ahead and inspect the whole trailer walk around and we're gonna be ready to go so all I gotta do is pull up and slam it down Sean's getting his trailer right now over there Baby felt baby's full now. The baby? Yeah, you. The baby in the belly? No. Nah. What? You heard that guys? So I gotta go ahead and slide these tandems now forward. Forward and it's, it's gonna be a weird turn to get out I feel like, but we'll make it work. I realized this seal right here doesn't look good. See that? The seal is leaking right here. It's cracked. So I don't know what we're gonna have to do. I might when we get there tonight, I might have to get it fixed at um 
at the lubs because the way this is, that's not good. It's leaking, so it's gonna need a new hub seal, which is unfortunate. <sighs> that's why I don't like pulling old trailers, 16 trailers, I don't like it. All right, let's go ahead and slide these tandems. We're light, so it's not gonna be too much work to adjust them. So John is checking out now, and uh, it was weird. I had to like back up because I couldn't swing out to the right because there's trails there. So I had to like go left and back up and then there was a cluster. There's a bunch of yard guys out of nowhere just came because they were all like hiding somewhere. And when I went to back up, there's like six of them just came out of nowhere. And then that guy over there was behind me sitting there and I'm trying to tell him I'm trying to back up with the Volvo. And he was just sitting there like confused what I was doing. So yeah, it was fun. But yeah, now we're here. We're waiting for Sean to move. Then we're going to move next. And yeah, we're going to get going, get the live load done. And we're very light. I uh, only have like 25,000 on the tractor and I have 21,000 on the trailer. So it's very light load, which I'm happy save some fuel but yeah let's go ahead and check out when sean does on the on the back side over there and we'll be we'll be pretty much we'll be pretty much going so catch you guys here soon all right hold up now so we're gonna get our bills Appreciate you, thank you. All right, have a good one. All right guys, so now we're gonna go and pull up outside and uh, go ahead and do our live load call. I think Sean's already over there. So we're gonna go ahead and pull up behind him and fill out all this info and get rolling, so let's go.
good night. Hey guys, so we just got to the loves with Sean over here in uh, Indiana, Gas City, like near Gas City. And yeah, we're done eating, we're done with everything. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get some sleep right now. And we're gonna wake up in a few, about, what time is it? 1.14, we're gonna wake up around 3.45, two and a half hours. And we're gonna get going to the Walmart distribution center to deliver the load. Morning guys, so we dropped off the load with Sean and now we came up here. We got another load out of Smithfield in Greenfield, Indiana. And we actually rented a car. As you guys can tell, it's outside right here. We're in Manuka Terminal. And we're going to Chicago with the wife and the baby. So we can actually, good morning. So we can actually like explore because my wife wants to go to the cloud gate and I haven't been there myself. So I'm you know interested in going there as well. And we're gonna do a bunch of other stuff, but you know, like sh shop some for some food and uh, go ex and see some other places. Like we're going to the zoo, right, baby? The Lincoln Zoo is called. Yeah, so we're gonna be there. But yeah, let's get going. All right, we left the terminal, so we're driving now on I-80. We're about to take north through Chicago, I-55. Use yeah. the right lane to take exit 126B to merge onto I-55 North toward Chicago. So downtown is down there and we're making a quick stop at Ross because I have to pick up one shirt and I gotta get a hair clip for my wife and then I, a new charger because her charger stopped working because uh, Ari over here had to put it in her mouth and uh, yeah, stopped working. So it, we're really close. We're like half a mile away from the Ross. So we're gonna go there real quick and then um, continue on to downtown, which is over there. So let's go. In a quarter mile. You've entered the parking lot for your destination. All right, here we are. We are here at Ross right now. And where's your trucks parked over there? Let's go. Let's go. I already said, let's go. Shh. Okay, we're gonna go this, let's go. All right, we're good now. We're going. We got a, a shirt. Nothing fancy, but got my wife some hair clips, and then I got um, what else? Got a charger for her as well. So we're all set. Now we're heading to downtown, which is over there. You can see it in the distance. So let's go. And it's uh, <laughs> it's about how long is it? It's uh, eight miles for 27 minutes. Real long, but we got this. Let's go. We're here at the cloud gate right now. We made it. Nice view. So we just saw the cloud gate, or the bean they call it. What do you think, baby? How was it? I thought it was big. Yeah, we thought it, we thought it was gonna be like big, but it was actually like a small, it wasn't as big as we thought it was gonna be. But now we're going to the theater, right? So we're gonna walk to the theater, which is about, how many miles is it? 
No, it's like half a mile away. It's so only nine minutes walk. Nine minutes walk, and then we're gonna go to the Navy Pier, which is like 27 no, minutes walking, but we're gonna drive because it's like 1.3 miles away. But yeah, we're out here. I like the views. The weather is kind of a little hot if you're in the sun, but for the most part, it's nice, right, Ari? All right, so we're driving now to the Lithuanian restaurant. Yep, we're heading there. We're gonna have some Lithuanian food. We went to uh, a few places there, and we're gonna go back after we because we're so hungry. So that's the plan right now. We're about 11.8 miles out from the place, and yeah, can't wait to eat. I'm starving. Old Vilnius Cafe. I want the dumplings that you heat up over there. Hey guys, so we are here at the old Vilnius Cafe at Chicago. I miss Lithuania. Huh? Are you okay with the potato pierogies? Yeah. You sure? Yes. Okay. I miss Machuti. <laughs> Alright, we have Sipilini. Hey, we have Sipilini. Yeah, it's a Lithuanian like potato stuff with yes, meat. Yes, I miss this. It's very, very good. I'm about to eat it up and we're gonna keep going to the zoo in yes. Lincoln Park. Bon appetit. We went to Walmart, did a grocery run. My wife is actually chopping up the celery, celery right now. And yeah, she's prepping everything up. We have a bunch of stuff ready to um, start Cook. cooking. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have to do some laundry, take a shower and all that. So that's the plan. And uh, we'll be back to you guys here shortly when she starts cooking. She's chopping up the celery as you guys can see right now. I'm gonna make um, chicken macaroni soup. A chicken roll soup. I'm cutting the beef because I'm going to make a beef steak. Well, it's a Filipino steak. Well, not steak. It's a Filipino some Filipino beef steak. food. Yeah, yeah it's called we, beef steak. We call it beef steak, but mm -hmm. it's not really a steak. And also, the soup is boiling. It's a chicken macaroni soup. Yes. Hi. Hi. So, what are you doing? Awesome, and then we got Ari watching the tablet. Hi. All right, so she chopped up the onion for the beef steak, and we she made the spaghetti already, and she made the soup over there as well. We are making um some beef uh, beef steak right now, so I can't wait till it's done. It smells so good. All right, guys, so here's the beef steak, Filipino beef steak, and it has a lot of onions. My favorite, so good. Tastes delicious. We taste tested, and the rest of the stuff is done. <laughs> So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and go wash some dishes, throw some trash out, and we're gonna get to eating soon. We got a load to pick up tomorrow from Tyson, and um, I forgot the name. It's a confusing name, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. But we're gonna go ahead and pick that up, and we're gonna run it to Indiana for a five uh, o'clock in the morning delivery on... Sunday at five in the morning. Yeah, Sunday, because we both like watch. I didn't really look over it, my wife looked over it, and us, but we're going to Gas City, Indiana, Walmart, DC, five in the morning. We're gonna go ahead and uh, Head to the Tyson to drop off the empty trailer we got. 